So we're going to do the Zodiac sign Capricorn. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So what do we have for Capricorn? Sorry about that. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. So you have family room. And then imprisonment. So somebody somebody is definitely feeling stuck or trapped. This could be a family. Yeah, thief is here. Could be somebody that was trying to set something up or they set something up to try to steal something and they got stuck. This could be someone in your family. This could be another family. A mature man is here. This could be someone that is um in this mature man's family. And their community is here. Wow. So you have main female poverty and judication is here. Somebody is under judgment. This could be an entire family that are stuck. They could be stuck in some type of situation. These are people that are were being very sneaky. These could be people that are thieves. And they're under judgments like they could be experiencing some type of hardship or financial lack. This could be whoever this main female is, wherever this person is, their family. Poverty is here. And this is this person's judgment. Like somebody could have lost a lot, a lot of people and they're stuck in some type of situation for something that they were trying to steal. Privileged lady is here. This could be you. Somebody could have been plotting and planning to steal something from you. And they're under judgment. This could have been a family. And then toil and labor is here. Yeah. Something that you were working on or something that you work, something that you do at work. Something like that. You're someone that's a very hard worker. Courtship is here. So somebody wants to work with you. They want to, um, this could be someone who wants to court you. They want to be in a relationship with you. And somebody's under judgment because they did something in a sneaky, deceptive way to try to have someone trapped. And this was an entire family. This person knew different people. Or this family knew different people in the community. And it's like, they're all under judgment. All because somebody wanted to work with you or partner up with you or you were supposed to work with someone. Courthouse is here. Justice is coming in. Justice is being served. While these people are under judgment. House is here. And sudden wealth is here. Yeah, so somebody is literally, um, justice is coming in for you in a situation that could have been going on behind the scenes unbeknownst to you. With the house and sudden wealth being here, you could be someone that's getting ready to get a house or something like that. You could have sudden wealth coming in. And it's because you were, you know, in this energy where you work very hard. You're someone that's privileged. Or whatever it is that you have been working on, it's bringing you sudden wealth. And somebody thought they were going to be able to take something from you or steal something from you or have you stuck. Change is here. Yeah, you're definitely in this energy where you chose change. Like something is like you're you're packing up and leaving something. 
or you've changed. You could have went through a whole transformation. You could have worked on yourself a lot. Whatever you give your time to the most, that's what's going to manifest. So if these people were behind the scenes trying to figure out how could they have you trapped or have you stuck, do stuff in sneaky, deceptive ways, they're going to watch you manifest. That's it. As you were working hard on yourself, you're going to see yourself prosper. Because you were minding your business and focusing on yourself. That's how you were able to make this change. That's why justice is coming in for you. And these are people that are under judgment? Wow. Great fortune is here. Yeah. It's like you're someone that has great fortune. And they're concerned. So these are people that thought they were going to take something or steal something or have someone trapped. This is sad. Unexpected income for unexpected income. Somebody thought they were going to gain some type of unexpected income. These people could be concerned that you have unexpected income coming your way. And great fortune, sudden wealth. Change is coming to you because you had them work hard for whatever it is that you're working on. Yeah, you're someone that's very mature. These are people that could have been attached to this mature man. And this is the person that wants to come and um, partner up with you. Yeah, wealthy man is here. And in occupation. Yeah, they want to work with you. They see you as their the privileged lady. This person is the wealthy man. And they want to work with you. Occupation and then wealthy man. Somebody could have also paid someone, unexpected income, mature woman. Somebody could have paid someone to do something. To try to have someone feeling trapped. And this was a setup. Marriage is here. And an official person. Yeah, somebody wants to work with you. This person look at you as an official person. They want to be in a commitment with you. And they're coming toward you to work with you. And somebody is literally concerned. Yeah, the food card is here. Somebody is going towards a whole nother direction. Somebody is taking a leap of faith. Towards their journey, towards their calling, towards what's destined for them. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. Wow. This is sad. Knight of Wands and Queen of Wands is here. And they have the devil on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So this could be someone that, um, whoever this person is, Knight of Wands and Queen of Wands, then the devil. Somebody could have tried to play some type of spell work over you to get you to you know, be obsessed with them. This person thought that they were going to be able to come in and have sex with you. Knight of Wands is here. And they did this in a sneaky, deceptive way. They did something too quick. Knight of Swords is here, and now they're weighed down and burdened with whatever decisions that they made. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands. Wow. They did something too quick. Four swords in the reverse. They didn't want something to be, you know, they didn't want something to be laid to rest. Something ended and they didn't want it to end. So somebody got behind the scenes and they thought that, you know, this hidden addiction is a bad habit or this obsession with whatever they were trying to do to get you to be attracted to them, to have sex with them would work. Did not work. Yeah, this is a cycle that had them closed out. The world is here and then four of wands is here. This is somebody that could have knew that you had them completed a cycle out and you would be coming in union with someone. Four of wands. The four of wands and then you have the four on the courtship card. This could literally be your twin. And um, somebody thought if they placed some type of sex magic over you or lust, lustful energy, 
you they would um you would be under a spell and it did not work this person is under the spell that they tried to place over you i'm so done Harmon is here Somebody could have tried to do this to your twin as well. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, the devil. And they're way down in burden because they hadn't placed it over their self. And this is someone that does not want anything to do with them. So it's like they're receiving judgment. They're under judgment and receiving karma. Because the plan was to have this person obsessed over them, addicted to them. Through, you know, sex magic or something like bind it to them through lust. Because they didn't want something to end. This person could have ghosted you and they were going through this. They didn't know someone was, you know, in a sneaky, deceptive way trying to keep them stuck. And they had a whole bunch of people like their family helping them. Wow. Yeah, to create some type of illusion. Seven of Cups is here. They ghosted you because they were confused. They were in some type of illusion and a confusion. Yeah, the magician is here. They were tricked. It was a lot of trickery involved. Three of Cups is here. A friend could have been tricking them as well. Causing trickery. High Priestess is here and Justice is here. So it was hidden that Justice would be served. Somebody did not know or these people did not know that something would be balanced out. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. And then the Strength card is here. So somebody has been getting some type of knowledge that have given this person strength. It have given this person some type of um, realization. Like they're seeing something now. Seeing things for what it is. Could be seeing these people for who they truly are. Yeah, or this person, they could be in that high priestess energy. And this was hidden. Like, they possibly did not know that that person was a high priestess. This person is someone that's spiritually gifted. They, you know, they know hidden knowledge. And they were trying to confuse this person. Seven of Cups. Wow. The chariot is here. Yeah, whatever this, whatever they have, you know, whatever they're seeing for what it is, seeing these people or a person for who they truly are, they're moving forward. The chariot is here. Knight of Cups is here. And then Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that wants to come towards you quick with a romantic offer. Or they have romantic feelings for you. This person could want to have an emotional conversation with you. Three of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person has been wanting to partner up with you for a long time. A lot of people have been behind the scenes like collaborating against uh, you and this person for a long time. Trying to figure out how can they keep this person at a distance or something like that. Or keep this person stuck. But in a sneaky, deceptive way. Four of Pentacles is here. And then Nine of Pentacles is here. And then Page of Swords is here. Yeah, somebody is trying to hold on to you. Like, these could be a lot of people that are sitting back trying to hold on to you by watching you. Page of Swords is here, watching you online, trying to observe you. Yeah, because you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. If I was thinking to myself, who is this Nine of Pentacles? This is you. You're the single person. You're someone that's minding your business. And these are people that were watching you. And they figure if they can watch you, they can hold on to you in some type of way or something like that. <laughs> this is sick. The Emperor is here. And then Page of Wands is here. Yeah, this Emperor could have been watching you as well. And they've been holding on to you, but they've been holding back. They want to communicate with you. They could be sitting back trying to figure out how can they communicate with you. Queen of Cups is here. So they see you as someone that's very emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. And this person wants to have an emotional conversation with you. Two of Wands is here. Wow. The 
they don't know what to do. It's like they possibly don't even know how to. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They're trying to figure something out. Two of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. It's like they're trying to figure out how could they come towards you or how could they communicate with you or what to say to you. The death card is here. And then five of pentacles is here. And then two of cups is here. I'm so done. <laughs> this is somebody that literally, whoever this five of pentacles energy is, the death card is here. That person is watching you as well. This could be someone that you separated yourself from. This person is someone that's very low vibrational. You could have left that person out in the cold and you just dead at the situation. You went through a transformation. This person knows that you're getting ready to partner up with someone, work with someone, two of cups. And they could be trying to hold on to you by watching you some type of way over the internet. I'm so done. And they're trying to figure out who could be coming towards you. I'm so done. Yeah, they're trying to figure out if you're in some type of relationship or if you're in a commitment with someone because the hair font popped out. They like they they know that you're getting ready to partner up with someone. This person know that you're someone that's very loyal. You're someone that's very honest. Whatever partnership that you get in, you're going to be committed to that person. This person is someone that's going to be committed to you. Whatever this energy is, this was supposed to end and you were supposed to leave this person out in the cold. But this person is trying to figure out if you're in a relationship or not. I'm so done. This person is sad, sick, and sorry. Yeah, they're stressed out. They don't know if you're in a relationship or not. And this is none of this person's business. I'm so done. This person is sitting back stressed out, worried about stuff they shouldn't be worried about. <laughs> Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. This person could not have you stuck or trapped. Oh man, this is <laughs> yeah. This person could have went around and spread a whole bunch of lies and different stuff like that. They were trying to keep people blinded from the truth. They are trying to keep you blinded from the truth. This person wanted you to be stuck. I'm so dumb. <laughs> this is sad. And they were trying to literally slow you down from getting in another commitment. This person knew when you left them out in the cold that you would be, you know, manifesting equal give and take in commitment. Someone that's like you. Because you could have been loyal to this person. Um, this person was someone that trusted you. You were like a hair font to this person, giving this person advice, inspiration. But they were too low vibrational. So they haven't left that person out in the cold and you went through a transformation. Yeah, and this person is sitting back trying to blind, you know, hide the fact that they were trying to distract you or slow you down. I'm so done. The plan to try to have you trapped and stuck did not work. <laughs> this is sad. The star card is here. Yeah, you're someone that's spiritually woke. And it's like you've healed. That person is stressed out and depressed for whatever they had done did. King of Pentacles is here. And yeah, they were trying to distract you from getting in another relationship or something like that. That's all I keep getting. Yeah, lovers in the reverse. They do not want you to be in another relationship or something. They don't want you to have someone that have mutual feelings or you, they don't want you to have mutual feelings with someone or something like that. This person is someone that's stuck in the past. You had a six of swords, this person. Distance yourself from this person. You were supposed to, to have a new beginning. Eight of Wands is here. I mean, Ace of Wands is here. And then Eight of Pentacles. It's like you've been working on yourself. And this is someone that's in this Five of Pentacles energy. They feel left out in the cold. They know that something has came to an end and they're stressed out. They don't know what to do. They're not sure if you're in a relationship or not. And they're stuck, worried about something they shouldn't be worried about. I'm so done. Ten of cups is here. <laughs> oh, I'm so done. This is sad. Eight of cups is here and then ace of swords is here. This could be a this could be this person's family. They found out the truth and they walked away from this person. This person ran around here and spreaded a whole bunch of lies on you when you left them out in the cold. 
Now that their family have filed out the truth, they're walking away from this confusion and illusion that this person tried to place over them for sympathy. Wanting them to feel sorry for them or something like that. Oh, I'm so done. Yeah, now they're in this nine of wands energy. They're nervous, feeling guilty about whatever they had not did. Yeah, in the past, six of cups is here. Whatever events that took place in the past, whatever they lied about in the past, they're in guilt. They done lied over and over again. This person can't even keep up with the lie that they told, the first lie they told. They had to tell another lie and another lie. <laughs> they did this in a sneaky, deceptive way. They thought they would never get caught. They would least suspect that these people had done woke up to whatever they did and walked away and found out the truth. Yeah, it's ours. <laughs> They at least expect these people will realize this. I'm so done. Yeah, and they will be sitting back under judgment and in regret. Five of Cups is here. And they will be sitting back seeing you at the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. And they're sitting back at the Four of Cups. Feeling rejected, feeling insecure. Everything that they did was rejected. And they did not know. So it's like somebody was trying to keep you stuck behind the scenes and they didn't want you to know. They lied to a lot of people. And then somebody else that, you know, wants to come toward you, someone that you have a spiritual connection with, they had multiple people trying to have them stuff, and they're under judgment. These are a lot of people that are in regret. Wow. I'm so done. Yeah, they're in regret because you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. You're being seen for who you truly, who you're truly are your authentic self 